Hello everybody, welcome back to Call of Cthulhu, and <clears throat> where we left off last, we had to find the cylinders for the safe, and we had just found them at the end of the episode, so we're going to start the episode off by listening to them and trying to defer the code of the safe. So. Uh, do -do -do -do. Clues, inventory maybe? There we go. Cylinder meant to be listened to by using a phonograph found in the nameless bookstore, the message all obscure might contain importance. So we have to find a phonograph. That can't be hard to find. Okay, there we go. Guardian of the Grail does not protect me from his attraction, and I do confess it. I am willing to pay to know his secret. Okay. So, okay. the ruby's on the chalice. I finally understood that we were only pieces on the chessboard of the guard. Let those of us who are still standing protect our white queen from their dark souls. I see our numbers dwindle, and my will strengthens as my apprehension grows. We shall refuse to be the playthings of destiny. And then, either the white or the black pieces on the chalkboard. I think it would be the white ones. And the last one. I thank you again for the anthology of the works of Arkham editions that you sent me. Volume 9, as is often another one. Particularly relevant to my research. I never tire of browsing to them. Okay. So nine. He straight up gave us the number in that one. Okay, and there are one, two, three, or maybe it was one. So there's eight white pieces total. So with that we'll try one, four, and Wow, I'm an idiot. There's four pieces on the board, there's three right there. So we'll try one, four, and seven. Um, because I think there's way too many black pieces for it to be that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, all that, yeah. The chalice of knowledge. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so five rubies. Four, one. Or five four nine. Sorry. How do we? Okay. Five four nine. Okay. Let's try five one nine. Okay. Try five seven nine. What? That's gotta be right. Nine is a hundred percent the last one, and five is for certain the first one. We might cheese this real quick. <laughs> Eight, two. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, the three that were left on the board besides the queen. Okay. Pretty good with that puzzle, I feel like. It took us four minutes. <laughs> That's kind of rude. <laughs> That's always fun, huh? Getting sucked into the void, maybe. Oh man, not happy. <laughs> Whoa, the book. Are we back in the hospital? <sighs> Pierce traced the trail of an attempted burglary. He discovered that Charles Hawkins was behind the attempt. 
Pierce opened the book so he safe to find what the lair or the hawk is hidden there. A book covered in human skin, lied inside, irresistibly attracted the detective when he opened it, his mind projected into another body. What? Wait, so I'm not Pierce? Wait, am I gonna be Pierce? Am I gonna be Fuller? Or Frazier? I don't think it was Frazier. Whatever his name was. This man's condition is deteriorating. What says Dr. Fuller? It's his patient, after all. He... I'm Colden? He's busy with Captain Fitzroy. He specifically asked us not to bother him when that's the case. Oh, of course. I'll see what I can do. Mr. I'm Fuller, a doctor? I'm Dr. Colden. We'll take care of you. There's nothing we can do. I tried talking to him. He's catatonic. Regarding the patient, he has been drugged. Oh, he's been drugged? Very well. I'll examine him. Let's see what's wrong with your ear. Three-year-old subject. Severe hypothermia. Erythematous papules around the eyes and eardrums. Necrosed pollutant tissue. Lord, this smell. Being as she said, pronounced it like tissue. Um. I don't know if she pronounced the other words weird. So, I don't know what any of that meant. <laughs> Severe malnutrition. Swollen I know that. Abdomen with traces of petechia. I don't know that. Oh, doesn't seem like an edema. I don't know what that is either. Seem to indicate the presence of a foreign body. I have no idea what you're talking about. His skin shows abnormal loss of color and seems dried out. He's totally dehydrated. His fingertips and toes seem to feature a slight ring under the skin. Tender at the touch. Slightly sticky. Yucky. So, Doctor, an opinion? I'm not sure I have the necessary knowledge to treat this man. Don't say that. Are you sure about that? The most worthy doctor after Dr. Ford. Oh, oh. Some of his symptoms are beyond my comprehension. It didn't sound what like it. Did you find? The state of his limbs is worrisome. He has something in his tummy. He's severely dehydrated. If you examine his abdomen, it would seem there's something inside. It's a baby. He hasn't eaten in days. Are you certain it's not an edema? No. Can't you recognize an edema? I don't know. I don't know what it is. The trace. And look at these bumps. His lovely lady bumps. It's not like he could be pregnant. Oh, yes, he could. Whatever it is, this man has something inside him. Shouldn't be there. We should operate on him at once. Dr. Fuller said not to worry, but the edema would go away by itself. You know, I'm not sure Dr. Fuller is telling the truth. It's very easy for a man to get pregnant. You see, all you gotta do is you take. And that's how it's done. In spite of the muscle contractions, his arms seem limp. Yes. They can't have decalcified. Not at this rate. And yet, if there is a bone in his arm, it's softer than that of a newborn baby. What about his cranium? It's soft at the touch. It does seem like the skull of a baby. He's a baby! Look at his sticky rings growing at his fingertips. Ew! What can be happening? An edema? I'm gonna try. I see signs of hypodermic lysis, but he's still dehydrated. When we see signs him, of what? He's constantly under perfusion. I've even gone beyond the recommended dose to no avail. And he won't believe me, but when we bathed him earlier, he, he had a baby. Yes. Like he needs an aquarium, not a perfusion. But that doesn't explain his condition. He's a seahorse. Don't tell me you believe in extraterrestrials. It's an alien. This poor man is from our world, but his body is undergoing unnatural mutations, and this transformation is killing him. He's a super saiyan. Where could he have gotten such an infection? I pray that it's not here. May I know what you're doing to my patient? 
He's becoming a fish. Ooh. How about what you've done to him? Oh. Let us calm down, my dear Marie. I don't appreciate your tone nor your insinuations. I've You've got to be evil. I will to all my patients provide him with the best available health. Your imagination is without limit. It's your homemade drug again, is it not? Those people are not your guinea pigs. They're people that are turning into fish. What have you seen to put you in such a state? Uh... I've seen suction cups on his fingers. Oh, he's turning his into a squid. body temperature, his dehydration. Had I only read the report, you know what I would have concluded, Doctor. Uh, Tell me anyway. I'm curious. He's becoming he's a squid. An <gasps> animal, you say? Would you be more precise? Cephalopod, perhaps. How did you know? This amuses you. Your reaction does. Well, I know you oh. first for knowledge, Doctor. It's your innocent worries for this man that have you overreacting. Overreacting? And the others whose medical files you've been hiding. You're and turning them into fish? Or cephalopods? These people owe me their life, but the world isn't ready yet. It will be, in time. I will not let you do this. You disappoint me, Marie, but I still have hope you'll one day share my point of view. In the meantime, take care of your own patience and try not to forget who you're dealing with. You're the villain in all this, aren't you? Was that a threat? What did he mean? I forgot you were here. <laughs> Dr. Fuller is this institution's founder and one of our profession's most influential voices. Because he's a villain. If I continue to protest, I will only ruin my reputation and career. It's scandalous. Can't we do anything? Is there no evidence of his crimes? So there's evidence right there. Stay out of it. Don't you get involved in this. You've done enough already. But doctor, this man is dying. Doctor. There's nothing we can do about it. He's in the hands of Dr. Ford. Do you wish to end up like Elizabeth? Yeah. The diploma from Nightingale and the chores of a cleaning lady. Yeah. Um, you're right. Let me no. do my own investigation. I'm cold. It's time I found those missing files. And where would you find oh. those? In his office. What if you get caught? He'll turn me into a squid. I not think about that. I'm counting on your discretion. Of course, Doctor. You can count on me. I'll keep mine. Keep mum. <laughs> Keep her where? <laughs> anyway. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed, because that is the end of the episode. And I hope you're having a good day. If you were watching early on, I hope you have a good rest of your day. And I will see you in the next one. Bye bye <laughs>